may have heard that scientists in the LIGO lab recently discovered gravity waves. Einstein was right, again. I guess he was pretty smart or something. This is huge news. It's an entirely new way of looking at the universe. Just like the discovery of radio waves led to us learning more about astrophysical black holes, quasars, and radio galaxies, gravity waves may lead to the discovery of even more astounding features in this universe. In fact, this could be the next step in directly observing the very beginning of space, time, and everything. The Big Bang. But wait, what exactly is a gravity wave? It's not something that rad aliens surf on or anything. A gravity wave is basically a ripple in space and time. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, space-time is kind of like a fabric, and what we call gravity is the warping of this fabric with a very large object, like the sun. Imagine for a second the universe is a tablecloth, and you drop a heavy ball in the middle of this tablecloth. This ball is creating a huge distortion in the literal fabric of space. In fact, the reason we orbit the sun isn't because an actual force is pulling us around it, but rather, the Earth and everything else that orbits the Sun is in an accelerated curved freefall around the center of it. But what does this all have to do with gravitational waves? Well, according to Einstein's theory, anything with mass that moves in space, like black holes, planets, the Sun, even you and me, create ripples through the universe that distort space and time. With the technology that LIGO has, we can only detect waves that are created by black holes and neutron stars that create something like a cosmic tsunami. The gravity waves that LIGO detected were from two black holes that collided together around 1.3 billion years ago. They were spinning about half the speed of light when they collided, and for a fraction of a second released more energy than the rest of the observable universe combined. The LIGO lab detected these waves by using mirrors, really long vacuum tubes, and lasers! A laser beam is split and sent down two vacuum tubes precisely four kilometers long. And I mean really precisely. When a gravity wave comes along, it warps space and time so that one tube is a little longer and the other tube is just a little shorter. This difference is a fraction of the diameter of a proton. This minuscule change affects the amount of time it takes for the light from the lasers to cross the vacuum tubes. Some really smart people determined that this change was caused by a gravity wave warping space and time around our planet. What makes this so astounding is this marks the beginning of an era in which our species can use yet another technique in unraveling the universe's deepest secrets. So now that we figured this out, the future science is looking pretty rad. T-Hex.